My name is Maria and I'm with DB Services. Since Claris officially launched their newest product, Claris Studio, in September 2022, they've continued to make some pretty exciting updates to the platform. Let's take a look at some of the newest features and updates. So first, we're going to look at Claris Studio. And one of the newest features here um, that we're really excited about is a new type of view, and those are called list views. Um, so they basically allow you to work visually with lists of records in groups. So I'm going to go into this one that I've already, uh, that was a one that came with a project planning starter pack, um, which we'll talk about in a couple of minutes. Um, so for example, this one is being used kind of similarly to a Kanban board. Um, so you can drag and drop any of these records into a different group like that um, using this little bar on the side um, and kind of rearrange each group like this um, into, you know, whatever order you want them. Um, so it can be really customizable um, and it displays it the way that you want it to. And then you can also create a spreadsheet view from this list view, um, just so you can kind of look at this data in a different way. Um, so that's what that would look like um, if you wanted to do it that way. Um, something else that they've just introduced recently is a starter view. Um, and right now you can see they've got this project management one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show how those are created. Um, so you just click create and then it will start creating um, all of these new views um, that are kind of like pre-built for you. And you can like go into any of these and kind of customize it to make it what you need, but it's already they're kind of built out for you for um, somebody who's going to use like a project management, have project management needs. Um, so now you can also delete multiple views um, by selecting them individually. Um, so you can select one at a time, delete view, it'll delete that one. Um, you can select multiple at a time. delete selected views three selected so it'll delete all of those um, or you can do a range of views delete those selected views um, so there's a lot of different options with what you can do um, and then you can also delete um, based on views with the same data um, so if you just sort by that then you can delete this group, so all the views with within this project um, that have the same data, you can just delete that whole group. So another new thing that they recently introduced was in um, a Kanban board, you can now choose, um, if you go to board settings, you can now choose between three different templates for the Kanban cards, and it will automatically size those correctly for you. So if you wanted to do small ones, you'd make them you know, the correct size so you don't have to go in and do all of that yourself. And you can just kind of customize that however you want, um, just for you know different ways to view the data. Um, so there are also a couple of new kinds of charts in Clear Studio that I want to go over. The first one is um, a bubble chart. And here's an example of one that I made fairly quickly. Um, um, so I'll go back and kind of show you how um, I made that. So I'll just go into um, a sample spreadsheet that I've got here um, and then I'm going to do create a dashboard um, and then I'll do bubble chart um, so right now you can see um, obviously these are just this is just some sample data but it's just kind of like a cool way to better visualize all that data 
Um, and then another new kind of chart that they introduced um, is the combo chart. Um, so it really just is used to display multiple data series and kind of compare them more easily. Um, so here's kind of an example of that. Um, let's change up one of these. Um, so you can kind of see how it, you know, it you can compare that data really easily in the same chart. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about is um, Claris Go is now available on the App Store worldwide. Um, currently, it's only available in English, um, but they have talked about how they're in the process of getting that built out to support other languages, um, so that's really exciting. And we at DB Services are really looking forward to working with all these new enhancements and features, and we're excited to see what comes next for the Claris platform. If you have any questions or want help building solutions on the Claris platform, please reach out to us. Thanks.